Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to make a pair of leather hirachis. Um, if you don't know what hirachis are, they're a sort of primitive sandal that a lot of uh, Native American people, especially like South American uh, people, wear. And this is a very simple sandal. Um, but it's very effective to uh, just protect your feet um, and it's a very lightweight shoe so if you're really concerned about calories or uh, weight or anything like that it's a very good shoe because it weighs very little plus they just kind of look nice um, so today I want to make a pair of leather hirachis and all we're going to need for this is some thick leather. I believe this is um, 12 mil leather. I could be wrong. Um, some paracord, pencil, a shoe to trace, and you only need one shoe because you can flip it around and make both shoes that way, and something to cut it out with. I've just got a pair of tin snips right here. So, what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to lay the leather out with the side I want to hit my, or to be against my foot on the ground. So, I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to take my shoe, find a good spot. I'm going to try to make sure I use the most, or the least amount of leather as possible. Uh, that right there looks pretty good. I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm just going to trace around the shoe, making sure that the shoe is touching so I don't get any weird spots anywhere. There we go. And you could also do this with cardboard, though it won't last as long. And also, tires, the old rubber from tires, works well. Unfortunately, I don't have any rubber tires, and they're kind of a pain, especially to try to find some without any wire in them. So, now that I've got the outline of it, I'm just going to go back with my pencil and touch up anywhere where it's kind of hard to see. There we go. Alright, so I hope you can see this on camera, but I've got my shoe traced out, and it's going to be a little big for my foot, but that's alright. I want some room in the front and back. Um, looking at this, looks like I'm going to have a little, it's a little small on this side, so I'm just going to take pencil and just put a line in there just so that I can have a little bit more room on the sides. My feet are kind of wide. Then I'm going to take my snips and cut this bad boy out. So now we got the sole of the shoe and this is going to become the left one that be the left shoe because I traced it out with this part as the top that means it's gonna be the left now so when you're making the right one you want to lay it out like this trace it out and then it'll become the right shoe once you flip it over
remember, this isn't a perfect thing. This is just to keep your feet from getting thorns or anything in them. Alright. You know what? I'm a little bit of an idiot. I don't want to cut out that big piece right in the middle. So, let's put it right here. And we'll just pretend that never happened. Much better. Go ahead and cut this one out and I'll get back to you. Sorry about that guys. The camera was a little stupid and uh, shut off right away or uh, right after that last bit. But I went ahead and put the laces on the first shoe and I'll go ahead do the same on this shoe and show you all that. So, you want to start with the opposite side, to so the side that's going to be on the on your outside of your foot. And you're going to open this bolt up a little bit. Sorry about the dog. And you're going to go ahead thread the cord through, put a knot on the end. Then, you're just going to tie a half hitch on this end, there we go, and just adjust it down, there we are, alright, now it should look like that, then you're going to come this middle one, Open it up and put a bite in the middle of your line. Put it through. There we go. And then you're going to want to put your foot on the sandal and just adjust it to where it's comfortable. There we go. All right. And I like mine a little snug, so I'll put that right there. Then you're gonna put a knot in the end of this. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to walking on this. It kind of feels strange at first, like you're walking on a rock. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. There we go. Nice. Make sure it still feels good. Eh, it's a little tight. Come back. Undo this. And just loosen it up a little bit. Feels much better. All right, now I'm gonna take this end and we're gonna do the same thing. Open this up, take a bite, put it through. Come on, you. 
I always have trouble with the last bit. There we go. Got it through. All right. Then get this all adjusted, feeling comfortable. There we go. Then I'll uh, take the cough, the portion where you want it. There we go. These snips aren't made for doing that type of thing. All right, I might go ahead and burn the end of this. You don't have to, but it makes it a little easier. Alright, then I'm going to take and put two half hitches on this end just to hold this in place. Alright, there we go. Put a knot in the end of this. And then you're going to want to head, go ahead and put shoe on your foot make sure it feels good and then you take this end bring it around and come through this lace then you're just gonna make a half hitch on this side and I made the I cut the rope a little small but that'll be all right there we go Tighten it up. And now we've got two sandals. Nice functioning pair. And I can go ahead and slip these on and try them out. Nice. All right. So Hope y'all can see that they're uh, nice, super light, fairly comfortable. Um, if I wanted to, I could take these laces off, put longer laces on that wrap around the front of my foot. Um, I might end up doing that, or I might just put a little extension on these laces here. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, but one of the benefits of keeping the lace in uh, just one long piece and now I can take these laces off and use them for like the bow drill or something that I just need a uh, short piece of cord for and it doesn't have to stay on there but these are feeling pretty good it does take some getting used to like I said with those knots right in between your toes but uh, yeah Feel pretty good. Sweet. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this just quick little build video. Um, nice. Really highly suggest y'all go make a pair of these for yourself. They're super duper comfortable. Um, they keep you they keep your feet really cool. And uh, they're just really light, so you don't have to worry about having a big heavy boot on or anything like that. Um, one of the downsides to this is, since they're so light, they don't offer a lot of protection. So if you're going, oh, excuse me, if you're going through a lot of scrub brush or thorns or anything like that, um, the size of your feet might get uh, cut up a little bit. But this will protect the bottoms of your feet which is really the most important part if you can't walk can't get yourself out of whatever situation you're in or into depending on what uh what happens but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video and uh i'd really appreciate it if you all would
share this with uh, your friends and family. I don't usually ask for stuff like that, um, but my uh, channel's slowly growing, and I'm hoping it'll just keep growing. So if y'all could share it, share this uh, video and share my channel with people, uh, it'd be a great help. Other than that, take care, and I'll see y'all on the trail.